Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It's 1.54 p.m. according to Computer Clock on Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. And I just want to show you the latest stuff that I got um, since my last video. And in this case, it's just one item. Betty and Veronica's Guide to Life. This is one of those books that uh, Miramax put out back in, like, 2005. Uh, when there was supposed to be an upcoming live-action Betty and Veronica movie. Like an actual theatrical film. Archie Comics even advertised it on their site saying it was coming soon, but it never materialized. But we got all these tie-in products to get people ready. And I've got a whole bunch more sitting on my desk over there. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, see that stack of books? Yeah. Some of that's Avalon, the Warlock Diaries, others are like, you know, Betty and Veronica, and there's some other stuff in there too. I still have, I think, a few more of these to get, but I want to get all of these Miramax tie-in books. Most of these are like, just guidebooks, like, nominally written by the girls. Uh, there's two novels, uh, I think I already showed one off. Betty and Veronica's story is what a catch. It's a Veronica story, basically. And there's a, there's a Betty one also, which I haven't gotten yet. But yeah, so this is just a kind of, sort of, illustrated um, book. In fact, I, I, I recognize this picture of Veronica um, in the Betty and Veronica story stories, uh, what a catch book, except it's black and white. Um, I think this is just regular, pre-existing Archie Comics artwork, probably, they just put it in the book. So, like, yeah. It's basically just a guide to life. Yeah. Uh, I think there's also a guide to friendship. Hang on. I'm not sure. Friends forever. I think there's a guy that crushes. I, I don't remember all of it now, but anyway. So, yeah, that's what I got. What else has been going on with me? Well, I'm trying to finish watching Avengers Infinity War on Netflix. I got like 58 minutes left, and then I'm gonna go and see Endgame, which apparently everyone in the world is saying. <laughs> But yeah, I'll probably see it on one of my days off, but it's three hours and one minute long, so that's a lot of time to devote to it. Particularly if I'm driving like a half hour to and from the theater, like a half hour each way. And then there's the previews, it's not even counting the previews. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll get around to that. I don't know when I'll post a review of it, but yeah. Uh, Netflix, I recently watched No Good Nick, it's a series starring Melissa Joan Hart and Sean Astin. I watched the first part, it's ten episodes, it's a cute sitcom. Um, recently, I, I've been buying some ebooks, mostly comics. I got uh, Marie Kondo's book. I had on my wish list, I got an email saying it dropped to two ninety nine, so I snatched it up. Um, let's see, I'm current. The major novel that I'm reading now is sort of Avalon, but it's slow going. Um, what else am I doing? Not much. Um, that, that's about it. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's 1.58 p.m., and thanks for watching.